today belongs to the architect. He sees towers before they pierce the sky, an opportunity before it transforms into the extraordinary. He knows that what he wants most cannot be given. It must be sculpted. So he builds. He builds because those skylines don't raise themselves from the earth. The extraordinary does not appear on its own. They are dreamed into existence by the architects of reality. The ones who seek not to take from the world, but to contribute to it. Today is the beginning of something new, something better, something worth remembering. And it's existed long before the present moment, waiting for your vision, your courage, your persistence to bring it to life. Too many times we fail to reach into the realm of what we know and get more of ourselves. It's okay to struggle, to be wrong, to have to rebuild a thousand times, but the great tragedy is closing our eyes and walking by life's opportunity. Everything you need to rebuild the life you dream of is around you, your every move. If only you'd reach for it, see it before your eyes do become the architect of change. Nothing is impossible when you are the one setting the rules, when your hand draws the guidelines. You are not at the mercy of the world. You are creating it. This is yours. And there will never be a moment like it again. So don't run from it or hope life gives you what you want. Take the pieces in front of you and construct your masterpiece.
All right, no? so good morning mga kabatids and welcome to our second online seminar entitled Think and Dine, Architecture as an Art. And uh, brought to us by, of course, Metro Goldrich um, Construction Incorporated and uh, TUP Manila in Architects. So good morning, everyone. Before we start our program, may I request everyone to settle down for our opening prayer, followed by National Anthem of the Philippines. Kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiliw, kaya sa sinahanan, alam ng puso sa titik mo'y buhay. Upang hinihinang, kuya ka ng magiting, sa manlulupi, di ka pasisigil sa nagatak. Again, welcome to our second on-the-job training webinar entitled Think and Design Ar Architecture as an Art. And we are back again as your host. I am Bianca Grace Igalin. And I am Brainan Valiao. And Bianca, today we are so blessed uh, to be one again. 
joined by um and So I guess there's a problem in Raynan's connection. So today we are lucky to be one to be once again joined by a professional in the business. So in our first webinar, napakarami nating natutunan talaga doon sa topic talaga. And today, I am very excited once again at meron na naman tayong matututunan at meron na namang taong ready na i-share ang knowledge niya in a, in a relation sa field na ititake natin in the future. So yes, can we see kung ready na ba ang mga kapatid natin? You already know na yung drill, di ba? Pag tinatawag natin, you can heart react. At para malaman natin kung gising na ba kayong lahat dyan at ready-ready na ba kayong makinig sa ating guest speaker, di ba? So, for the group one, may I call the group one? Heart react naman kayo dyan. <laughs> Medyo ano ah, nakakaano ang online webinar kasi heart-heart lang. Walang maingay. So, for the group 2, gising na, ba, na ba kayo dyan? Nakapag-almusal na ba kayo? And of course, mag naman kayo dyan. Group 4. Siyempre, hindi magpapauli ang mga iilan sa mga grupo. Group 5. And ang aking mga kagrupo na alam kong Sobra-sobra talagang enjoy na en mae enjoy nila ang webinar na to. And I think uh, meron pang isang grupo na hindi magpapatalo. Huli man, pero hindi magpapatalo. <laughs> ang group 7. Mag heart react naman kayo diyan. Ayan, I think we are all set for today's webinar, but before that, meron muna ng babati sa atin. Our head department at talagang guwapong guwapo. <laughs> guwapong guwapo head department ng graphic graphics na si Mr. Elmer Sangalang. Hello, magandang umaga po. May audio po ba ako? Yes po, yes, sir. Po, sir. Ayun, okay. Magandang umaga sa inyo. Yes, lahat. sir. Loud and clear po. Ayun, magandang umaga po. Ah, uh, binabati ko kayong lahat sa pagkakataon nito. Uh, blessed morning to the organizers who made this webinar happen. Congratulations to my dear friend and PUP's industry partner, Sir Mark Rolla of uh, Metro Gold Reach. Good morning, sir. Good morning din po sa lahat ng mga resources speakers and sponsors, my dear students. This webinar is for you as a university student. This kind of webinar will help you develop further your knowledge, skills, and attitudes which TUP has started in your classrooms. Our industry partner like this one helps to fill in those voids in terms of industry situations. Out of the box experiences like this webinar combined with classroom situations, field applications and on the job trainings will help you to be a well-rounded person. But the most important thing that you should have when you graduate and immerse in the industry is the right attitude towards work towards your superiors, your co-employees, your subordinates. Always remember, skills can be taught in schools and industry, 
but no matter how skilled you are in your field of specialization, but you have no right attitude with your work, your superiors and co-employees, everything will go to waste. No one will want to be with you in the office and on site. If you possess the right attitude, everything else will follow. Fame, success, and financial freedom. This webinar will uh, you will learn more things from the experts in the in the uh, in their field of specializations. Again, salamat po ng marami. Uh, mabuhay kayong lahat. Good morning po. Thank you, Sir Elmer, for your warm welcome. And I guess we're all set for our guest speaker. Um, for next is he is a registered architect since 2004 registered mastered plumber since 2005 and also known in youtube as architect john without further ado let's all welcome architect jonah p orteza hi good um good morning everyone uh, good morning students and uh, i am very happy to be here to be part of this uh event i, I mean this webinar okay and uh, am i am i coming clear um, am I coming yes, here? Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. And uh, first of all, uh, I would like to thank you, for everyone, for inviting me here. And uh, um, when uh, Sir Mark Rola first uh, told me that I would be uh, talking here in the webinar, I, I felt uh, nervous because, you know, um, as uh, mentioned in the introduction, um, I am a uh, I've been into blogging already for, for, for more than a year, but uh, talking in live um, webinar like this is different because in uh, blogging, uh, you can retake, okay? <laughs> Pag nagkamali ka, you just have to retake or you can cut and edit. But this one, this is continuous. And so everything, uh, the mistakes is all there. <laughs> uh, nakikita ng lahat. Okay. Um, when I was informed that I will be talking to you as students, uh, especially specifically architectural technology students, there was a little doubt in my mind that uh, I would eventually uh, commit, although if not for some conflicts and schedules, because um, right now we have, we're kind of busy. We're, we're a startup company. And uh, although I have been uh, an architect already for more than a decade, um, our company right now is a startup and uh, we're still trying to figure out some things, okay? So, kaya medyo BC. So, but there was that little doubt in my mind. I said, um, I would commit to this because I have felt a sense of connection with you guys, okay? Um, to start with, I would first like to share a little bit of trivia about uh, why I said that I had a connection with you. Okay. Before I actually took up architecture, um, my father suggested me that I would take up architectural technology and drafting, uh, something like that, because uh, in, in his uh, prior years before uh, his early retirement, um, he has an office mate who is an architectural technologist. And uh, he would keep on telling me that uh, magaling ito drawing, magaling ito maglittering. And uh, as a kid, you know, uh, um, lagi, tayong, lagi akong nautusan na uh, with my teachers to uh, to draw, make letterings. <laughs> so, yun agad ang pumasok sa so isip niya. So, he said to me, he told me that, uh, uh, yeah, you took, took up, uh, you take up architectural technology and drafting and uh, when we went to the uh, university to enroll, uh, little did we know that there's no such uh, course uh, in our school at the time. Because by the way, I, I graduated in uh, Tacloban City, uh, Leyte Institute of Technology, uh, formerly Leyte Institute of Technology, on Eastern Visayas State University. And we found out there's no such course there. Okay, So I ended up taking uh, architecture, uh, sabi niya, 
there is no architectural technology here in uh, LIT. So what are we going to do? We so will police can lang, or you think of uh, other course. So I said, uh, never mind. I'll proceed with architecture, and that's how uh, I end up taking architecture instead of architectural technology of that case. Okay. Um, this might be just a short talk, okay? <laughs> so uh, I will just give uh, just some uh, few points uh, and uh, uh, inspire you also, okay? Going into our main theme, uh, which, uh, which is think and design architecture as an art. We have to understand that uh, our role is not just more on art, or self-expression, which I think is a main ingredient of art, self-expression, okay? Well, while it is true that uh, art is still the language that we speak, okay? In order for us to bring our message or for us to communicate uh, to people, I believe that uh, self-expression uh, should take a step back in favor of a more human-centered approach, okay? When I say human-centered, uh, it is more responsive in finding solutions of our basic needs, okay, which is uh, human shelter, habitation, uh, structures for, for, for our society. Uh, we all know that uh, our world today is uh, becoming more and more complicated. Uh, our needs today are quite different from the needs of the people two decades ago. Okay, due to climate change, technical, technological advancements, um, new construction materials and methodologies, etc. Okay, so that's why I said that uh, art now we just take a step back. Okay, our focus now is not more on ourselves or self expression, uh, it is now geared toward making an impact on the people that we serve or we cater, okay? So, uh, kasi halimbawa, in, in, in art, um, we are basing it on our perception, on our idea. Uh, uh, it's more on uh, our, our understanding of things and then we express ourselves, okay? But in architecture, uh, it is uh, more than that, okay? Uh, not only that you express yourself, but you are also looking on the welfare of uh, not only the user or, or the people, uh, your, your clients, but uh, on the uh, impact it will bring okay, in, uh, in our society, in, in the environment. Okay. Ayun, uh, so that's why. Uh, uh, First and foremost, that would be, uh, we have to put that in our mind that uh, more than an art, we are uh, designing, or we are uh, going for a human-centered design. Okay. Secondly, I would also like to put emphasis on um, the importance of collaboration among technical experts, us, okay? architects, engineers, builders, architectural technologists, etc. Well, it is true that uh, there are some kind of, if I may term it, uh, technical and professional hierarchy, okay? If there's such a word uh, in our industry, it is still more important that uh, each and everyone's technical contribution is acknowledged, okay? Our role now, your role is more focused not only on production of technical drawings, uh, and it does not mean that you are of lesser value. Okay? Uh, in the case of, like for example, um, a draftsman, because I have been working with drafts, drafts people, draftsmen, and uh, I see to it that their contributions are acknowledged, okay? Uh, that they are not of lesser value because, um, just like in a, I would liken it to a body, okay? Because we're one in the industry. I would like it, I would liken it to a, a body of a person, uh, not because the, uh, 
the head or the brain uh, does all the thinking doesn't necessarily mean that he is the boss, okay? Uh, even the tip of your fingers is just as important. Okay? Uh, sabi nga nila, di ba? Yung sakit ng kalikigan, sakit ng buong katawan. So, uh, hindi natin may iwasan na uh, there are some uh, how do you call this? Uh, egocentric attitude, okay? And, and, um, kagaya ng sabi ni Sir Elmer ba? Elmer kanina na uh, more than the skills, uh, it's actually the attitude, okay? Kasi uh, in our industry, hindi natin may iwasan that uh, there are uh, egos, okay? <laughs> there are egos at uh, medyo nagpapagalingan. So, ito, mas magaling kami, mas, uh, mas ano kami, mas lamang kami. And uh, uh, I keep on telling that uh, in my, in, even in my blogs, if you have uh, watched uh, some of my blogs, I said that uh, uh, one of the problems that I see uh, nowadays is that uh, Masyado ano, masyado uh, entitled ang mga nandito sa industry natin. Uh, and, uh, uh, I think that should take the back seat, okay? Because the collaboration is still uh, the most important thing. Uh, ha, uh, the, it should be the result, the end product, okay? How are we going to uh, make a certain project successful? And, uh, that's why every idea, every skill, and every contribution is very important. Okay. And um, I would also like to take a little bit of uh, opportunity uh, to make a definition between architecture and architectural technology. Uh, if ever you would uh, decide to pursue architecture, uh, because uh, um, I believe that uh, you you already have that uh, skill set, uh, the knowledge. Uh, if you are going to uh, pursue architecture, because uh, some people are actually uh, confused. What's the difference between us, uh, okay, uh, both of us? And uh, uh, the answer is uh, there's a difference and. Uh, we have also a uh, common uh, platform, okay? We, we share the same industry. Parang, uh, it's more like a, we are the big brother and you are the younger brothers. Okay lang ba sa inyo yan? Kami yung kuya, oh my God. So, uh, and and uh, I see no uh, problem with that, okay? And uh, to give you a more, uh, clear overview, okay. Uh, as I said before, uh, you would decide in the future uh, to uh, pursue architecture. Uh, um, again, as I said, we are we share the same platform, okay. Uh, pareho tayo. We produce technical drawings. Uh, we use the same medium platform tools to communicate, uh, which is uh, drawings, technical drawings, uh, interpretation of plans, something like that. And, uh, uh, alam nyo yan, okay? Alam nyo na yan. So, uh, yun yung pagkakano natin. Uh, yun yung uh, uh, similarities natin, but uh, we have the specific rules, okay? Uh, in order for us to be more productive and functional with our, with our tasks. So, isa sa mga uh, nakita ko uh, difference at, at makita mo na uh, if you, you, you decide to pursue architecture is the number one, well, first and foremost is the CV liability. Okay? Uh, and that is the signing of plans. Uh, because uh, when you become an architect, uh, according to a civil code, uh, you are uh, all plans or all uh, structures that are built and signed and sealed by, by you, uh, you are liable for, you have a civil liability for 15 years. Okay? 
So that's one of the most glaring, uh, uh, what do you call this, um, uh, difference, okay? At the, mas, mas mabigat ang responsibility actually. Uh, uh, it's not more on mas, uh, mas ano, mas lamang, okay? Uh, if I may use that term, uh, kasi, uh, uh, I'm always an advocate of equality among, among our industry, but uh, we have to, uh, I, I always also emphasize yung, 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 ano, yung a specific role of us. And, and isa sa mga, uh, yun nga, sabi ko, yung pinakamabigat talaga is uh, the civil liability. Uh, it is stated there in, in the civil code. Uh, those who are uh, responsible in signing the plans will uh, for example, uh, if a structure will uh, fail within that uh, 15 years period, uh, the first uh, person that we are going to look is the ones who signed uh, the documents or the plans. Okay. And uh, number two, um, should you ever decide uh, to pursue architecture, uh, the technical qualifications. Uh, because uh, I think, uh, I, I'm not very sure about the curriculum of uh, architectural technology, but I, I can only speak for, for uh, architecture. Uh, um, architecture, uh, uh, it's more advanced education already, uh, training, uh, especially in planning and design, given the curriculum that it will uh, uh, take you five years, plus uh, two years of apprenticeship, not to mention that, uh, ko, in our time, uh, yung two years of apprenticeship is talaga, ano, uh, we don't have uh, salary, we don't have allowance, okay? Masaya na kami na uh, pinamirienda kami na ano, yung mentor namin, architect, but, uh, uh, that's not the, uh, the case anymore uh, nowadays. Okay? I, well, I understand that. Uh, sabi ko, nagbabago uh, talagang panahon <laughs> because I have interviewed a lot of students at, uh, who are uh, 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 apprentices, okay? and uh, they are expecting already salaries. But in our time, uh, we are more on uh, learning. Okay? So, merienda, merienda lang, okay na sa <laughs> So, yeah, and, uh, and of course, uh, the board exams. Uh, we have to prepare for the board exams, and, and that's the uh, major um, uh, requirement, okay, to be uh, qualified as an architect. And not to mention also the uh, continued professional development or CPDs that we are going to undertake, uh, trainings because we are required to uh, undertake such things to have a continuous learning. And uh, architecture also is more on macro planning, okay? uh, not just on the physical structure itself, like uh, uh, for example, in a house, for example, a uh, house, uh, the focus is not just on uh, the uh, Kagawa ka ng floor plans, technical drawings, details, perspectives, and all those uh, uh, technical documents. But you are now looking on a um, different uh, level. You will be uh, taking into consideration the social impact that your design will uh, will bring to the to the people. You will also have to uh, consider uh, the environmental impacts, okay? Uh, how it will affect our environment, uh, first and foremost. Um, it will have, uh, how our structures will safeguard our, our environment. And of course, uh, public safety and health uh, in order for us to uh, um, Safeguard uh, the people uh, uh, that, we, that we cater. So, if uh, 
not just more on uh, basta nagagawa tayo ng bahay and we were able to make it beautiful, okay na. So, nandun din yung safety, okay? Uh, 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 kailangan uh, uh, they are complied with all the minimum standards of uh, the building code or uh, standards of the construction industry. So, yun. And the third is the, the legal qualifications. Uh, yun yung patobagay uh, na na difference uh, between us. Uh, and if ever you should pursue that, uh, uh, yun, uh, titignan yun na uh, aside from the civil liability, the technical qualifications, uh, nandun din yung legal qualifications because uh, we know that here in the Philippines, uh, I'm not so sure in, in other in other countries because in other countries I I know may mga uh, courses na hindi naman nila kailangan ng uh, board exams but here in the Philippines uh, we really have to abide to that uh, to our law that uh, one of the requirement of that is that uh, the moment you pass uh, the board exams uh, you you are now legally qualified uh, to practice. Uh, architecture, um, uh, in a sense, na uh, we are now uh, governed by uh, not only by the architecture law, the RA 9266, the Public Act 9266, but also you have to be bound by professional standards set by our uh, by the Republic. And of course, the code of ethics by organizations, architectural organizations. So, yun yung mga ano eh, uh, uh, mga bagay na masasabi mo na uh, kaibahan, okay? Uh, the, the legal qualifications. So, you have to, uh, uh, we have to uh, abide by those legal qualifications. And uh, mabilis ba ako? Hindi <laughs> uh, naman. So, uh, so yun. Uh, uh, parang feeling ko mabilis yung pagkasabi ko at parang matatapos na ako kagad. Ah. <laughs> okay. Uh, lastly, I would like to um, inspire you, okay, to be committed in reaching your goals. Okay? Uh, I know for a fact that uh, this pandemic is making it really hard for you students uh, to uh, uh, si Piro, ang ano doon, sino ba, sino ba ngayon ang hindi nakakaranas ng usap? Okay. Ngayong panahon. So, you just have to uh, rest on that uh, truth na lahat naman tayo apektuhan and we just have to adapt uh, adaptability. Okay? That's one also of the uh, attitude na sinasabi ni Sir kanina na adaptability to the situation. So, dahil pandemic tayo ngayon, you really have to make the most out of what we have. Okay? And um, to give you also a uh, uh, background of myself, I came from a poor family. Okay? My father is a farmer and uh, yun yan, na-mention ko kayo na sa probinsya ko nag-aral. And um, Iba nga na eh, uh, there are uh, times na ang tingin ng tao sa inyo because uh, you're a graduate of, from the province, uh, you are uh, a blessed value, okay? <laughs> so, siguro hindi na yan ngayon, pero I experienced that in, 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 uh, 10 years ago. So, uh, when I came here to Manila uh, to look for a job, and uh, they would ask me, uh, what school did you came from? I said I came from uh, Leite Institute of Technology uh, in Tacloban City, and they said, "San yun?" So, so, so parang uh, it, uh, my my resume would always be on the end of the of the line because they didn't like it, So, uh, pero ang, the, the, my encouragement really is uh, do not focus on, on those ano, those minor setbacks. I call it minor setbacks, okay? Because uh, you uh, you have to see to it that you will not be defined by those minor setbacks. Okay, uh, your goal 
uh, your focus is to achieve uh, in the first place what uh, what what we are what are your uh, dreams okay uh, and sabi ko nga yung sa isa sa mga vlogs ko alam ko yung sabi ko it's not about what you have or what you do not have uh, it's about what are you going to do to do in spite and despite of okay so uh, kasi tayo uh, minsan we are all we are all looking for um, reasons okay na kung sana mayaman lang kami kung sana ganyan kung sana kung sana hindi pandemic mas magaling sana mas mag- mas mas marami sana kami matutunan. Uh, ganun tayo eh. We're, we're always dwelling on the sana. But uh, it's not about uh, the, 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 the condition. Okay, but uh, how are you going to respond to the situation? And uh, also, uh, um, since you are students, um, most of you are students, at uh, alam ko, uh, Iba-iba rin ang skill set. Okay? And um, to be honest with you, when I was a student, hindi ako magaling. <laughs> I am uh, one of uh, those, uh, what you can say as, um, uh, hindi naman ako bulakbol, pero I, I don't belong to the the best. Okay? Uh, in fact, I'm an irregular student. Uh, but then, uh, Kagaya na sinabi ko, uh, it will not, it should not define you, okay? Uh, in order for you to uh, achieve your goals, hindi yun yung uh, mag-define sa'yo. Uh, the past uh, should take the back seat. Kasi sabi ko, uh, when I became, uh, when I graduated from architecture, sabi ko, uh, I may not be good when I was a student, but, um, I will redeem myself from that, okay? So I really have to work uh, myself off, okay, to, to redeem myself. And uh, everyone is has an equal chance, okay? And laban uh, lang, uh, attitude, attitude pa rin. Ano talaga eh, napakahalaga no attitude. So uh, those are minor setbacks, okay? And I also, would like to encourage you to pursue more on uh, positive contribution uh, over and above uh, remuneration or salary. Kasi, well, uh, I understand because most of us are really having a hard time and uh, sometimes we're being tempted to uh, uh, prioritize uh, kung may magbibigay sa atin ng ng favors na magkakapera tayo ano ba so uh, minsan uh, we are being tempted to ano to uh, uh, to do that okay so in my case ano ba ano because I was a uh, uh, ano nagaaral ako uh, uh, because uh, sabi ko I came from a poor family and uh, I, I was really struggling during uh, my time in college So may, there are instances talaga na may discard ako. <laughs> so uh, uh, nag, uh, parang ang priority sa akin is uh, uh, kumita, okay? Kumita. So kasi ano eh um, that, oh, real talk, this real talk. Reality to kasi syempre uh, kailangan natin uh, so pag may mga pagkakataon na um, Uh, lumalapit sa akin and uh, uh, mas pinapriority ko na kumita ako kaysa dun sa learning. Okay? So, which uh, eventually I realized that uh, uh, learning would still be your priority. Okay? Promotion will come eventually. Uh, uh, eventually, uh, if you will be diligent uh, in, in the things uh, that you do, dun sa learning na matututunan mo, uh, yung remuneration or your big salary or your promotion will just come uh, but there are no short, shortcuts okay uh, walang um, walang tinatawag na pagka-graduate mo kaagad biglang yaman ka na okay this is it kasi yun ang 
Yan, yun ang naging ano ko eh. Yung naging uh, mindset ko dati. Sabi ko, nung pumasa ako ng arkitekto, sabi ko, yes! Yayaman na ako. So, hindi pala ganun. Uh, hindi, di rin ako yumaman. Took me... Well, hindi pa naman ako mayaman ngayon. So, don't get... <laughs> Baka bigla kanyang sabi, oh, mayaman siya. So, I mean, uh, let's just say I was able to uh, get over okay, those uh, times na talagang dumaan kasi dumaan ako sa hirap. And uh, uh, I realized that uh, yun nga, hindi, hindi shortcut. Okay? Uh, hindi, hindi, not because na, okay, uh, parang feeling ko, so, alam ko na to, so, kikita na ako dito. Okay, uh, hindi pala ganun. So, you, you, you pursue learning uh, above, and, uh, over and above you, for remuneration. Okay? Uh, if you have to go certain stages uh, in this, uh, in your journey as a student, uh, that is to develop your character and to, to prepare you to a uh, higher calling. Okay. Uh, and, uh, sabi ko nga din, uh, uh, ito lagi ko itong ano, eh, uh, nagpupok dyan sa mga vlogs ko. Sabi ko, uh, right now, nasasabi ko na it's not... Um, Uh, sabi ko, um, teka, ano nga ba? Uh, ako din nga, ano bang exact na sinabi ko sa isang vlog ko? Uh, it's not about, uh, ah, hindi, sabi ko, this is not just something that I do for a living. Okay? Uh, this is about who I am. Okay? Uh, meaning to say, uh, yung 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 higher calling mo higher goal mo is not just uh, para kumita ka or pagkapera ka but nandoon na talaga yung ano uh, yung moral obligation uh, what can we do to make an impact in our ano talaga tayo ng uh, attitude to to contribute in, in, in our little way uh, Uh, actually, hindi na nga little eh, yung ginagawa natin, hindi little, because we are shaping the environment. We are changing. Uh, yun yung ano, yun yung uh, gusto ko na uh, Uh, that, that's one of the things that I would like to 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 impart to uh, to to be able to contribute, make a significant contribution to our society, uh, to our environment, to the people, and uh, to our country. Okay. So uh, that's all, and I hope you were uh, you were able to learn. And. Uh, Thank you once again, everyone, and good morning. All right. Thank you very much, Architect John, for that uh, wonderful um, talk, no? And very informative and inspiring din. So, ay nga, ako personally, marami ako natutunan na about dun sa difference nga ba ng mga sectors sa ating field na ginagalawan, especially sa draftsman, which is ayun yung magiging path natin ng course natin na graphic technology as well and yung um, architecture so hindi naman siya sa nagkakaroon ng ano no hindi siya sa nagkakaroon ng hierarchy is just that uh, architecture field is a uh, group effort no so nagkakaroon tayo ng uh, different task so ay nga and sabi rin ni architect John na um Architecture is about learning. Hindi porket nakatapos ka ng architecture is andon ka na, andon ka na sa peak. It's a learning process. No? So yung may iba nga, may iba nga na um, draftsman, pero may input sila doon sa architecture. No? So ikaw ba, Bianca? Sa akin, ang pinakatumatak talaga sa isip ko yung quote na it is not just something I do for learning. It is something for who I am. So, di ba, sobrang ganda ng quote na yun since, ano, talagang tumatak siya sa akin kasi, oo nga, no, parang dati kasi, parang gusto ko na mag-architect kasi pagtapos ko, yayaman ako. Pero ngayon, parang 
parang oh nga it is something for who I am because we are the one who change um, our environment of course kaya nga natin pinag-aaralan yung mga codes and how to sustain our environment, di ba? Yun talaga yung pinakatumatak sa akin. And um, technical collaboration with the professional. So, yung attitude natin, dapat lagi tayong um, nakikipag-collaborate and open tayo for, ano, yes. for, ano, um, for the collaboration sa ibang mga professional. Lalo na, kapag gumradit na tayo and nasa industry na tayo, mga engineer and architect yung makakasalumuhan natin. So, yun talaga yung pinaka natutunan ko for um, our webinar today. So, guys, um, habang meron po ba kayong mga questions kay Sir regarding sa ating webinar today? So, Meron po ba kayo mga yes, questions? Yes, naman. Okay, okay. Medyo, ma- medyo maaga tayo, pero... <laughs> pero ako may question ako kay Sir. Okay, medyo maaga tayo. No? Uh, okay, okay, go. May question ako kay Sir. Pero before that, um, sa mga ano, since ako pa lang atay may question, um, sa so habang nagkakompose kayo ng mga itatanong nyo kay, Ar- kay Architect John, let's have a mini game. Ang tinatawag natin word game. So itong game na to ay sobrang simple lang. Each level um magdi-display ng mga gumbled letters and then ang goal niyo is ma-figure out ma-figure out ko ano man yung mga word na ilalagay doon sa ating ano. Okay? So yan. So for our first, ano, uh, may timer tayo ngayon. Magbibilang ako ng 1, 2, 3. Saka kayong mag-chat dito sa ating um, chat box. Okay? So first one is the te- technique of creating a technical drawing, whether in 2D or 3D. Design means crafting sketches or basic drawings with technical data, which is a pictorial pres- representation of the building. So 1, 2, 3... <laughs> Ang dami ha. Gina di ba kayo? <laughs> Gina di kayong manalo mga mga B. <laughs> wow. Waiting sila surprise. Wow. <laughs> so nauna si Maverick. So drafting nga ba moderator? I-flash mo na 'yan. <laughs> drafting ba? I paki-flash na po. So tama. So First na nanalo ay si Maverick. So, yes. Yes naman. Magkano kayo ang pa-price ni Mayora today, Char? <laughs> so, Let's next go. One. Next, next. Bago kayo mag-chat, ah, babasahin ko muna. The horizontal distance measured 90 degree from the outermost face of the building or structure of the property line. One, two, three, chat na. Oh, setback. Wow, eh, Jessica. Uh, may nauna, setback nga ba, moderator? Wow, tama, 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 tama. Naka, eh, Jessica, nakakarami ka na. Char. <laughs> a plan or drawing produced to show the look and function or workings of a building, garment, or other object before it is built or made. So, ano po yan? Moderator? Design. Okay, okay. Tama, tama. So, ang pangatong nanala si Angelo. Nice one. Paray naman. So, meron pa ba tayong game? Wala na. Wala na. So, ayun. So, before we proceed to our next vlog. Ay, vlog. Sorry. <laughs> um, magsasalita po muna si, ano... So, mukhang meron na ata kayong mga tanong ulit. Meron na ba kayong mga tanong? Guys, may mga tanong na po ba kayo? May mga naisip na po ba kayong itatanong kay Architect John? Nakaraise pa ng hand. Nakaraise pa. Ay, sorry, hindi ko po mga. So, first one is si Hana. Hana po. Hello. 
Wala po ba kayong itatanong? Eh si, si Choi, meron pala. Choi? Ayan, hello po. Good morning. So, architect, uh, question ko lang po. Kasi po, syempre, lahat po ta, I, I mean, mar- karamihan po sa ating mga college students, parang nag- ko-commission, kumuha ng commission, sideline and such. So, pagdating po sa paggawa ng design, alam naman po natin may hangganan tayo regarding sa pagpaplano, paggawa ng floor plan, gano'n. Pero pagdating sa mga rendering, paano po yung parang mismong nagiging pricing nyo regarding po sa gano'n? Kasi baka, baka sa yung pricing po na binibigay namin sa mga clients namin for regarding sa mga Ah, uh, dito regarding sa mga design services po na ina 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 pino-offer namin is too much higher than the parang kung may barrier po ba or parang limit or parang minimum of pricing natin pagdating sa mga design offers po natin. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, Opo, kasi uh, ano sir, parang syempre lahat tayo gusto natin after college may aman na tayo. <laughs> <laughs> Ayun po. Totoo yan, uh, rab- rabdab kita kasi uh, yun nga, uh, even when I graduated architecture, before I took up the board exams, uh, honestly, uh, I, ano, uh, I engaged in uh, what we term is, uh, term kasi sa amin, uh, uh, since hindi pa kami architect and we're offering uh, architectural services, we are called uh, legal practitioners. Uh, so I engage in that, okay, and uh, I am also guilty of that in, in my younger days. At uh, well, talaga ano, uh, pagkailangan lang, uh, real talk, pagkailangan. Okay. Pero um, ayun nga, uh, I realized that uh, later uh, in my uh, uh, career that uh, uh, we are now bound by yun nga, uh, minensya to talaga. Uh, when I became an architect, we are now bound by. Uh, Uh, legalities, the okay? legal uh, uh, aspects. Uh, so, hindi na kami yung basta lang kami makapag uh, uh, engage. Okay? So, uh, nandun na talaga na we are being uh, uh, regulated by the PRC uh, Professional Regulations Commission and we have to comply to certain uh, standards uh, for the ethics. At uh, when it comes to, ano, regarding your question, uh, uh, pagdating sa pricing, okay, uh, I think uh, in, uh, I cannot, uh, no, I cannot uh, give you a, uh, in an exact figure, but uh, sa aming official gazette, uh, in our case as an architect, we have this uh, standard uh, uh, professional, ano, uh, professional standard of fees okay ang ang ang, ang purpose kasi doon uh, ma-regulate ang lahat ng architects at uh, hindi magkaroon ng unhealthy competition kasi di ba kung pare-pareho ang pricing niyo uh, wala may iwasan ang tinatawag na sulutan or uh, kasi uh, let's face it uh, one of the most uh, damaging Uh, uh, thing na nangyayari sa, sa industry natin, yung word na sulutan. Okay? So, kasi doon yung nagkakatalo eh, sa pricing. Eh. So, susulutin mo siya sa pricing. So, yun yung intention nung uh, we are being regulated as, as professionals na meron kaming standards of pricing na eto kami lahat. Okay? But, uh, hindi din uh, ako Uh, kung mapapanood niyo rin yung vlog ko, uh, I explained there uh, in one of my vlogs na sinabi ko na hindi rin ibig sabihin na pag architect ka na, eh, uh, kasi may range eh. So, for example, percentage. So, I, I will not uh, uh, say a figure anymore. Pero may range. Uh, 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 yung uh, suggested uh, pricing na binibigay sa architect is uh, recommended recommended fee is ganito pero lagi kong sinasabi na uh, kahit pa meron kaming tinatawag na uh, standards of pricing may range uh, hindi rin lahat ng architect pwedeng sumingil ng uh, maximum okay sagad kasi there are uh, criteria kasi even in our uh, standards of uh, professional practice there are criteria 
uh, isa doon, uh, first and foremost, uh, experience. Okay? Uh, example, uh, I don't think I can uh, charge as high uh, as kay Palafox or, or the leading uh, uh, or the pioneers of the industry. Yung mga bigati na talaga na. No? So, not, not because I am already an architect, I, I can uh, charge ka na kagaya niya. Okay? Uh, yun yung uh, hindi nakikita ng iba. Uh, it, it will play, uh, experience will play a role. So, kung hindi ka pa ganun ka experienciado, uh, uh, I don't think uh, medyo, well, uh, wala namang ano, hindi naman pinagbabawal, pero ako kasi, parang ang tinitingnan ko, yeah, you have to, ano, to, in your, sa sarili mo, parang titingnan mo, ha, tatapatan ko ba yung mga malapalapox, di ba? Di ba? So, ganun din ba yung pricing ko? So, that's one of the criteria. Second, uh, expertise. Kasi hindi rin lahat ng architects ay pare-pareho ang expertise. Meron talagang nag-undergo talaga sila ng rigid training, higher learning, nag-masters, nag, uh, uh, nagkaroon sila ng mga training sa broad. And compared mo naman sa isang architect na uh, nag-ano lang siya, uh, hindi niya ginawa yung mga yun, tapos uh, yung mga project siya, puro bahay, tapos hindi naman, well, I'm not, I'm not uh, this is not to, to say na, hindi, na madali ang pag-design ng bahay. It's actually one of the hardest uh, structure simply because it is customized to the, to the person, to the user. Okay, so mahirap mag-design ng bahay. At, uh, and add to the fact na even yung kliyente mo, uh, alam niya kung ano gusto niya sa bahay niya kasi siya yung kira. Okay, so yan yung factor na pinaka mahirap. Pero ang sinasabi ko is uh, it will play a factor yung expertise ng, ng, ng isang professional na uh, Kung wala naman akong mga higher learnings or credentials or trainings na uh, pinakita, uh, I don't think I can also command uh, the same uh, price. Okay? So parang, uh, it's more on self-evaluation actually. Uh, number three is, uh, sinasabi naman, uh, skills din kasi iba-iba ang skill set. Kahit pa rin baguhan ka lang, if you there are people who are really very good, uh, talagang exceptional, okay? Uh, we cannot uh, deny that. Uh, kahit bago lang siya sa industry, pero talagang stand out siya. And I think he has the right to, uh, ano, uh, to come on. Uh, remuneration commensurate to his skill set. Talagang magaling siya. At pangapat, isa doon sa criteria is uh, yung ano, uh, uh, yung laki ng kanyang, ano, ng kanyang opisina, halimbawa, uh, yung isang uh, firm, talagang malaki yung firm niya, marami silang binabayaran, marami siyang ini-employ, and uh, there are solo practitioners, uh, doon magi- ma- makikita mo, na magigage mo na the solo practitioner can, uh, in his ano, capacity, uh, uh, I don't think magi- uh, pwede siyang maningin ng ganun ka. Well, again, sinasabi ko, hindi naman bawal, pero uh, parang ano, there's a disconnect. Okay? Kasi wala kang ano, wala kang opisina, tapos, tapos magigipag-compete ka ng kagaya ng may mga malalaking firm. So parang ano lang yun, self-evaluation pa rin. And, uh, I, uh, lastly is uh, yung ano, yung tinatawag na yung time and effort required okay, okay, sa uh, ginagawa mo. Kasi hindi naman lahat ng project mo puro hospital o puro uh, 30 stories building. Okay. Ngayon, titingnan mo siya, time and effort required, ang uh, pinagawa sa iyo ng kliyente mo, uh, simple nga lang. Uh, four, four corner with four, uh, uh, a structure with four corners. Okay, ganun lang kasimple. Tapos, tatagayin mo siya sa akin, hindi, standard ako. So, eto, inaano ko to, you know, even in one of my uh, uh, talks dun sa, sa vlogs ko, uh, kasi karamihan din, even na yun, uh, as architects, maraming, uh, well, uh, naintindihan ko, kasi sabi ko nga, kagaya ko, nung pagkapasa ko, sabi ko, yes, 
pagkakataon ko nung lumaman. So, talaga mag-charge na ako. Hindi pala gano'n. So, titignan ko rin na yung time and effort required. How? Uh, gano'n ba itong katagal ko gagawin? Uh, simple lang to eh. Uh, siguro, kung talaga sobrang galing mo sa CAD, baka isang araw lang, tapos ka na. <laughs> Dalawang araw, di ba? Tapos mag-charge ka na ano. So, titignan mo rin siya. Kasi, uh, yun yung mga criteria na uh, tinitignan ko most often overlooked na sa mga professional. So, uh, the charging of this is uh, actually um, nasa, nasa, nasa iyo. Pero tingnan mo doon sa criteria sa iyo. So, yun lang. Yun lang masasabi. Thank you po, sir. So, may magtatanong pa po, sir. Si Raynan po. Good morning po, architect. Um, so, ayun po. Uh, uh, what I know po, uh, ang are allowed to ano to promote their ano po their um service. Correct me if I'm wrong po. Parang more on um uh, ref referral po. Pero ay nga po uh, as times go as time goes by yung nagkakaroon na po tayo ng mga pagbabago tulad nga po ng may mga architect na rin po na gumagawa ng mga uh, YouTube videos Hello. Uh, uh, for educational purpose. Hello. Hindi ka tao narin. Hello. Yes. Nawala ka. Nawala ka. Pero from what I uh, I have uh, heard uh, initially, uh, sinasabi mo na uh, architects are um, not allowed to to make uh, an advertisement. Okay, uh, parang yun yung ano, uh, yun yung initial na narinig ko sa question mo. At uh, actually, that is uh, bound dun sa sinasabi ko na uh, code of ethics uh, as an architect. Kasi dun sa code of ethics, it's state there na uh, sinasabi ko na bawal ang paid advertisement. Okay, uh, uh, yun yung ano, yun yung ang ang nakikita lang yung iba is advertisement pero hindi bawal mag uh, advertise on your ano on your uh, service as long as hindi ito yung paid advertisement malinaw naman nakalagay paid advertisement so na overlook lang nila yung word na paid so ibig sabihin magbabayad ka para mag uh, mag promote ng sarili mo okay. at pangalawa is yung tinatawag na exaggerated or uh uh misleading publicity okay kasi nowadays uh, uh talagang marami ano maraming mga eh, misleading publicity yung ginagawa ng iba para makakuha ng client uh, there are uh individuals na hina-hype nila yung mga ano nila uh, not only credentials but uh, yung mga ginagawa nila hina-hype nila uh, kasi part daw yun ng marketing, which is yun ang uh, uh, nakalagay dun sa code of ethics that uh, uh, moral obligation, yeah, you're not going, you're not going to, uh, to claim or hype yourself beyond your capability na ito, kaya-kaya namin gawin to, mga ganito, uh, pero hindi mo naman, or expert ako sa ganito, expert ako sa ganon, just, uh, just so you can have a client, pero hindi ka naman expert sa ganon. Yun yung, ang, ano, yun yung bawal dun sa uh, code of ethics, okay. Uh, it's more on on on, on moral uh, moral uh, obligation to the society. Kasi well, hindi naman talaga na na regulate yung mga ganyan. Kasi uh, una una, uh, wala uh, not too many people would bother to uh, para ikreklamo ka. Sabi nyo, oi, yung may nakita ako don, uh, masaya yung hinahay ko sa sarili niya. So yung iba, iba. Uh, uh, hinahayaan na lang uh, yung mga ganyan. But, uh, yun nga, ang, ang lagi kong sinasabi is ngayon pa lang, uh, we, uh, balik pa rin tayo dun sa ano, attitude. Okay? The moral obligation, the moral 
uh, liability that you are talking about na uh, doon tayo sa totoo uh, wag natin wag tayo mang hype uh, kasi parang scam yun eh di ba nang scam ka na <laughs> para kang makakuha ng kliyente so pina-hype mo ang sarili mo and isa pa doon is yung mga tinatawag na no oh, we know na talagang uh, social media now plays a role in our uh, uh, industry and how we market ourselves uh, by the way magkaibang advertising and marketing okay so uh, It's, it's the uh, hindi ba wala i market mo ang sarili mo uh, according to your ano to your yung, yung totoo mong ano uh, ginagawa pero yun na hindi lang paid advertisement but pangalawa yung uh, sa code of ethics din ng architects is that uh, kasi halimbawa sa YouTube you take uh, example uh, may mga uh, personalities na nagpo-promote na sila ng mga materials kasi syempre they have already a big following and uh, may mga lumalapit sa kanila ng mga uh, industry partners na para i-promote yung produkto uh, in exchange for payment okay so yun yung ano uh, uh, sa code of ethics medyo sabit yun yun yung, yung mga tinatawag din na ano na, kasi nagkakaroon ka ngayon ng bias okay uh, nagiging bias ka kasi bayad ka eh <laughs> so ipopromote mo tong certain na uh, uh, produkto or certain building material uh, kasi bayad ka. So uh, again, babalik tayo doon sa uh, moral obligation natin. Uh, that's why as a stu- as students, uh, you really have to ano, uh, ito yung laging isipin niyo na uh, this is not just something na maka-earn lang tayo, kumita tayo, magkapera tayo. Uh, uh, palindigan natin yung ano na bilang mga kabataan, pagpag-asa tayo ng bayan kasi uh, walang mangyayari sa bayan natin. Kung ba, uh, mga bata pa lang tayo, yung mindset natin medyo uh, moral ano na, kumita na. Okay? Nandun pa rin yung moral obligation. You really have to, that, uh, to put that in our mind. The moral obligation. Thank you po, Architect. Um, thank you po. Architect John. So, may mga questions na po ba? Si Ms. Fem po. Okay. Um, go Ms. Fem, ask na po. Um, good morning, Architect. Uh, may I just ask you what is your stand or opinion regarding the House Bill 10234 that is controversial in this time po? Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, talaga ano, medyo nagkakabakbakan itong architects are equally divided because sa uh, 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 matter na yan, yung HB 10234. Okay. Uh, uh, personally, I have, uh, I agree with uh, HB 10234, 10234 tama, uh, with uh, uh, amendments on certain provisions. Kasi may mga certain provisions na medyo questionable. Pero overall, if you're going to uh, study the, the, the bill, uh, ano siya, uh, this is pro-architecture. Uh, and uh, some of the uh, majority at uh, din ng proponents at ang HB 10 to 3 4 na to is uh, ano uh, architects architects and proponents nito at uh, I'm not in a position to 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 say in detail okay pero medyo this is something to do with uh, with what's going on with the professional organizations uh, between uh, in the architects kasi uh, the uh, leading or the apo uh, existing apo uh, has a different stand Uh, sabi nila, amendment lang ng no, existing R9-966 uh, ang sinasabi naman ng mga proponents nitong HB 10-34 is uh, repel and baguhin talaga uh, uh, i-amend lang mga provisions na medyo dubious okay. uh, so uh, with that I cannot already comment in detail kasi medyo, medyo sensitive ito medyo sensitive ito na mga uh, uh, this is more on uh, issue within 
uh, professional organization. And we can only hope na uh, yung pag, uh, pag pinag-aralan nila ito or may isa batas man ito, it would benefit us all architects. Okay? So yun lang yung hope natin doon. At uh, uh, may, gui- uh, may God guide din. Okay? <laughs> sa, sa ano, to, to, to really decide on, on, on what's best for us. Okay, I think, I guess that's all for our Q&A na, guys. Okay, so before we let you go, we would like to call on Architect Jonah again to present our Certificate of Appreciation for being our keynote speaker for this webinar entitled, um, He Can Design Architecture as an Art, held today, October 30, 2021. Um, signed by signed by our faculty in charge sa TUP Manila um, IRIP Andrew John Mabakyao Mr. Andrew John Mabakyao and graphics head ng Kapa po si Professor Elmer M. Sangalang and the president of Metro Village Construction Incorporated Mark, Mark John Benedict G. Rola. Thank you so for sir for our um, guest speaker for today and we learned a lot from you and thank you for your wisdom that you have taught, taught to us today. So yun pa. Thank you uh, so much uh, architect John. Any message po before we end po eh, may gusto po kayong i-promote po or uh, uh, something. Ayun na, uh, ayun lang. Uh, I just uh, want to thank you again for this opportunity to, to share somehow the things na uh, uh, natutunan ko and I hope to inspire you okay, to uh, pursue uh, learning more and uh, contribute, uh, make a significant contribution to our society, to, our, to, 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 to the Philippines. Okay? So that's all. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much for Architect John for joining us today. Before we end, we would like to call on our president of Metro Goldrich Construction Incorporated, Incorporated, Mr. Mark Rolla, for our closing remarks. Hello, good morning once again, Architect John, Professor Albert Pangalang, students. We have reached the end of our Think and Design seminar, and it is my task to provide some closing remarks. Uh, as with all such events, and this seminar has been uh, an astounding example, our minds have been assailed by a source of ideas, information, statistics, inter- interpretations, and vision. Sir, architect, uh, we greatly appreciate the support we have received from the Orteza Design Care for sending architect John Orteza to speak for our seminar today. Professor Elmer Sangalam, head of uh, graphics Department of College of Architecture and Fine Arts for greeting our seminar with this with them, and also for the Technological University of the Philippines, which is the alma mater of, this, uh, of my, my alma mater. It is very important that the views expressed here are disseminated to a wider audience, and clearly this task has been in very capable hands with you students. Architect John, Professor Sangalam, students. Again, thank you so much for this uh, wonderful event today. Thank you very much, Sir Mark, for that wonderful message. So uh, before we end, we would like to request everyone to turn on their um, cameras for our photo, photo op. Thank you. Okay. Big screen for tayo in one, two, three, smile. Okay, isa pa po for the others. One, two, three, smile. Okay, thank you po.
Thank you, Arjun. Thank you, everyone. And, uh, Thank you weekend. very much. Thank and to end.